Hi there. In previous video, we learned about indeterminate CSS class pseudo selector. In this video, we will see two different pseudo selectors in CSS. The first one is invalid and the second one is valid. So the invalid selector allows you to select input elements that do not contain valid content as determined by its type attribute. So invalid is defined in CSS selectors level 3 specification as a validity pseudo selector. What does it mean? It means it is used to style interactive elements based on an evolution of user input. This selector has one particular use, providing a user with feedback while they are interacting with the form. Let me show it in an example. So in HTML, let's say we have one form and in form we have field set. Let's say we have one label and this one email. Input field with type is equal to email and name is also an email. Let's see how it looks. So this is a basic field set and input. So for this input element, you can write down input sudo invalid and in that invalid CSS, you can write down the CSS or background, let's say 90%. 70% and 1 HLS A. This is for invalid right. and for valid there is also one pseudo selector called valid. You can add background HSLA and there you can give value to 100, 90%, 70% and 1. So let's see how it looks. So by default when page reloads it is valid. The input field is valid. So that's why background color is this one. So when I'm trying to add some text let's say 565 it is not a valid email right so it is showing it is changing the color because for invalid we have given this color right so until i am adding i am writing an email which is not a valid one it will show the invalid color as a background in input field. Once I am adding at the rate date.com. So this is a valid HTML. This is a valid email. So for valid, the background color is this one. So you can you can use that when you are adding validations in form, right? When user is entering email and you want to show that the email which user is entering is correct or not. In that case, you can use that invalid and valid CSS pseudo selector. Here you can you can see that invalid can be chained with other pseudo selectors like focus to only validate when the user is typing. Also you can use before and after to generate icons or tags to provide more user feedback or attribute selectors like input values equal to blank to only validate the input fields containing the content right so this was the example for invalid 
same for valid when the user is entering the html or the email which is valid you can write down css like input valid and whatever user feedback whatever feedback you want to give user you can write down in this css so same is invalid valid can also be chained with other pseudo selectors like focus and after and before as i mentioned before so this is the example for valid pseudo selector and invalid pseudo selector it is very useful when you are writing code for any html or forms when you want to interact with user user is entering some uh, data user is entering some form values and you want to give feedback whenever user is entering the input fields so this is very useful in those cases okay that's all for this video i hope you like this video see you next time thank you